So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and an unboxing of another purchase. Yes, I know, Shock Horror Pro, but I have purchased some more figures. Um, you may have seen some time ago I painted up a number of um, Russian uh, Napoleonic troops in winter get-up um, for a Shakos and Bayonets um, system. Um, and also with um, with some modified lists to play with sharp practice. Um, and it's it's great, really pleased with it, really happy with them. Uh, the figures look great, but I decided um, that I might get a few more. And North Star uh, produced um, their own range of figures uh, just released for French and also Russians, 1812 Winter War figures. Um, and I thought I'd buy a few more Russians. Um, so they were doing a deal just pre-launch, um, which made them pretty good, pretty cost effective. And as you know, if you watch the channel any, any length of time, I really like the North Star figures. I think they have a certain chunkiness that I like um, and enjoy painting, as do the front rank, which is what the most of my Russians are. Um, so anyway, I thought you might want to see them. So this is a 300-point um, army. Four muskets and shake, uh, muskets and tomahawks, which um, is shakos and bayonets. Um, uh, no, muskets and tomahawks, which actually the adaption uh, for Napoleonics is shakos and bayonets. Um, apparently, you get an officer, ten musketeers, ten grenadiers, and eight uh, Jaeger. So they just arrived. So let's have a look at what we got here. This looks like the Grenadiers. With their big plumes. Very nice. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight, so that must be the Jaegers then. Two. Four, six, eight. Yes, eight. So it's Jaegers. Okay. We'll say that. It's difficult to tell, really. Um, there isn't an awful lot of difference in the Russian uniforms. Um, so you've got a guy, sort of his musket quite high, high port. This guy's a bit more sort of engaged. This guy appears to be preparing the flint. Lovely big bushy tash on him. Um... That's another one advancing, advancing, ready to raise his musket to fire, I think. And that one looks a slightly different pose again. Yeah, so there you go, there's eight of those. Oh, no, sorry, missed one shooting. There's always one, isn't there? We've got the officer, who's actually got a soft cap. Looks almost identical to the um, front rank figure. Very, very similar. I suppose Russians in great coats, what do you expect? Oh, so this is the next bag, which is two, four, six. Oh, that's only got eight as well. Oh, okay, and then the extra men are there. Right, so I was right, because the, the these should be grenadiers with the big plumes. Um, and there's a bag with two more in them, which makes them up to the ten. Okay, let's 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 put them properly. One. Yeah, there we go. There were two in that bag, so that made up to the ten grenadiers. Ten grenadiers should have the big pom poms. I didn't think anything else had those big pom poms. Um, and then you've got two bags. Uh, these ones are wearing um, sort of the caps, and these ones are wearing shakos. So, Russian uh, uniforms, there wasn't an awful lot of difference between um, Jaegers and Musketeers, so you could pretty much interchange these. Um, some nice, yeah, I mean, all of them have got their collars up. This guy's got a scarf on, he's like a proper granddad there with his scarf and his uh, shaggy beard and tash. Guys shooting. Another one with the uh, scarf. So some nice uh, 
Considering they're all just basically guys in great coats, there's a bit of animation about them which is which makes them intriguing. Now what I probably will do is mix these so they have some with caps, some with um, um, yeah, some with caps and some with uh, shakos. I love this guy. Look at him. He's got uh, a scarf wrapped around his ears. Very nice. Suitably cold looking, aren't they? Very good indeed. So that should be it's another one with the scarf. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Yeah, so that's ten musketeers and six Jaegers. So probably what I'll do is take certainly the shooty guys out as Jaegers. And the guy uh, there are one priming. Today. Well, there's four, there's three there, and we'll just sort through the others. And yeah, there's a guy priming his musket there. He can be in the uh, in the skirmish line. Another one there. The two, four, five, and then we'll just sort them out so the others are just uh, a bit of a mixture. So there you go. That's what they look like uh, in au naturel. Um, nice figures, I think. Um, at the time I purchased them, they were something 30 something pounds, um, 36 pounds, I think they were. Um, you can now pick them up, oh, 35 pounds. Um, this, when I was starting this video, at least there was still a deal on. So if you're interested, hop over to North Star's um, um, page. And uh, I think the normal price is 42 pounds. It's not bad, it's 10, 20, 29, 30 figures, uh, well, 29 figures, sorry, 29 figures for £35 um, or £42 if you don't make the deal. So I'm going to have a go at painting them up and um, I'll be back. And here we are, several days later, and I've managed to paint up these wonderful North Star Russian Winter Napoleonic troops. Um, as I mentioned, these are going to be used in um, probably my Shakos and Bayonets. Um, or possibly sharp practice games um, and many because I just like the figures um, so two groups of uh, ten the first on the left as you look at them uh, are the musketeers and on the right are the grenadiers I finally got that right uh, grenadiers as I very well know have the big plume um, <laughs> the other guys don't and then out in front you've got uh, eight Jaegers uh, in skirmish formation and uh, an officer who's not really looking the right direction. But there you go. So um, really, really good fun to do. I really enjoyed painting these fellas up. Uh, you can see here, hopefully, that um, I've kept it fairly simple. Um, the Jaegers have um, black cross belts. Uh, the Musketeers have um, white. That's basically the only difference. Um, there's a mixed bag. Some of them, as you saw, have got uh, flat caps. Some of them have got shakos. Um, and I've basically just taken an, a range of different contrasts. So let's start with the beginning. I undercoated everything in light grey, as is my want, um, with Halford's uh, light grey primer. Um, for those of you not in the UK, uh, Halford's is a car... Um, a car care company shall we say um, and um, so I use their spray paint um, as, as my undercoat and I know a lot of people do this because it just really gives a very consistent very good coverage so anyway what I was saying I took uh, on the top of the figures whoops let me focus in there you go Is it too close there you go um, basically with these figures I undercoated them with the light grey and then took a number of different uh, contrast paints, primarily browns. Um, I have used greens as well um, and just used them liberally over for the overcoats because they wouldn't have had a standard um, style of overcoat. So I've put uh, variety in here. Not so much that they all stand out, but you could, when you look carefully, you can see different sort of 
slightly different colours involved, which is what I wanted out of them. Um, also, I think I used a couple were using Basilicum Grey. Um, the Shakos, where they're wearing Shakos, some of them I've done just with straight black. Some of them I've done with a sort of off-white, uh, just to show the difference. You can see the Musketeers, a lot of these guys have all got, uh, uh, a lot of these guys have got, uh, let's move these, move these Jaegers out of the way, a lot of these guys have got um, scarves and things wrapped around them, which I really like the style of. I think it makes them look really shivery and cold. Um, this guy here has even got the, uh, uh, the, the, the rifle sling wrapped around his hand. Some of them even got mittens on. Um, I decided not to do them with white gloves or anything like that gloves on because um, to fire a musket you need to have your fingers out, which isn't great. But um, I suppose they could have had mus they could have had mittens. But um, apart from the odd one or two that are modelled like that, um, it, the rest aren't. So it would look very odd. Here's the officer. He is wearing gloves because he's an officer. Um, done with a red sash. He's got a big scarf around his neck. There we go. And let's just move those out of the way. Let's bring the grenadiers in. These were the, the last to get done. Again, a bit of variety in the in the uh, coats, great coats. I can see one a couple of green ones here. I think I used military and green on a couple. Um, Basilicum grey, and then about th two or three different types of brown um, picked out the uh, little gold bits on the on the shakos um, and then basically on all of these figures they've been liberally uh, dry brushed uh, well not liberally a fairly light dry brush with um, a white I usually use a deck tan but in this case because they're supposed to be cold and snowy I used um, a white um, a dry brush all over the top of all these figures just to give them that really sort of coldy looking feel which is uh, what I was aiming for and then what I've done with the basing is I've used uh, 20 mil squared MDF bases um, they've got I used the Vallejo snow uh, effect on them um, and then while they were still wet I then dunked them in um, Woodland Scenics um, snow stuff and just so they stick on there uh, I'd also put in a couple of tufts and I did that before I put the woodland scenics in so that some of them stuck and then when I uh, then when I varnish them all I varnish so that without shaking the bases so they have that sort of loose effect of, um, uh, of sort of bits of woodland scenic snow effect on the tufts and I quite like the way that's come out so there you go that's my uh, little winter German oh <laughs> I keep saying winter German here is my uh, winter Russian 1812 formation um, which um, will join the other winter Russians that are in my collection but really enjoyed doing them lovely North Star figures as usual and uh, another unit out the uh, pile of shame sorry opportunity anyway hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and a share and all the good stuff and if you haven't already done so subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell got lots of stuff coming up i'm just about to embark on a whole new second world war project um, which i'll share the journey of and um yeah hope you're doing well hope you're staying self hope you're staying safe and i will see you again soon if i can learn how to talk this is dom signing out mm -hmm.